Happy Labor Day. Welcome to the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour coming to you from Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. Paul and Grant along with Corey Lisi. Great to have you here. We've got a great pro matchup today, Class A Division. We have Nick Leach, the doubles winner with Austin Barnes last year. And we have the champion last year, last season, Matt Susie. Matt, hoist that trophy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you feel? Good. A 164 four string triple strike was the difference in the match against Justin Waters, who played well enough to win. Your, Good. Your thoughts on that match? Couple months ago. Oh, that match was great. It was hard fought. He was consistent, and I had one big game that put me over the top. But it all started when I bowled him my very last match. Yep. If it wasn't for him, yep. I wouldn't have been here. Yeah, you, you're a tough division. Two guys just missed out. You and uh, Chris Winnie, that's a tough division. Um, this year is tougher. If people don't, don't know this, you, you, during the regular season, you were 2 and 40 against John Winchell, Josh Daly, and Nate Leeds. And you beat all three in the opening in the first three rounds. I'm okay with that. Bowling, anybody can beat anybody any day. So, what are the Vegas odds of repeating this year? Oh, uh, if I had to put my money on myself, I'd say 10 to 1. <laughs> okay. You're here, folks, live. I'll we'll roll the tape back in, back in July next year. Okay, good luck today. Thank you. Nick, tell us about your Pro Series title, your highlight of your career. Um, it was you know, it was a good time. First time I've ever made it that far in the tournament. So. I think you had 12 in the qualifying round, too. Yeah. And you guys came number yeah. one. Yeah, oh yeah, Austin helped me when he needed to. Yeah, awesome. Nice how, how was your summer? It was good. It was a nice, yeah. fun softball, golf field summer. Can you share one of your highlights, of what, uh, how you got started in bowling, rather? Um, geez, my, my dad bowling here when I was basically born, almost. So I've been here my whole entire life. All right, good luck today. It's a five-string format, five bucks at a time. Dean Sullivan is going to bowl first. He's taking on Joey Lister. And it'll be Nick Leach against Matt Susi from Lita Lanes, National New Hampshire. The Atlanta Canopin Singles Tour season kickoff, week one. First of 18 weeks. And division rival here. They'll bowl each other three, uh, twice during the year. Thank you for spending your Labor Day morning with us. Another match at 1 o'clock after this. Doubles match JJ Turigny versus Dominic Palladino and Craig Powers versus Sean Prendable. 1 o'clock, Class B on Atlanta Kennelton Singles page. For those on Kennelton Bowl Network, Kennelton Chat, good morning. The visiting bowls will go first. These not head to head. Dean Sullivan is awesome Friday night. You can watch it on the match on Friday night. He's hitting 25 consecutive head pin hits. As usual, on the head pin, start. And as usual, split. 3 7 10. Nick Beach goes right, has the 1 5 in the middle, 2 pin to the left. We'll have Corey Lisi on just a moment here. And join us. Good morning, Corey. Morning, everybody. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for the setup. What a oh, shot! Oh, so close. Hit that perfect. Again, Couldn't have gone any better. Pin. Nick Leach, good bid, leads up the five count. Sullivan and nine to start. Nick Leach at 10, not head to head. Nick Leach versus Matt Susie, Dean Sullivan versus Joey Lister. Dean from Manchester, New Hampshire. Originally born in South Thousand Oaks, California, league average of 119. High single of 193, high triple 450. That's a high five of 711, a high 10 over 1300. Doesn't have the official number. This is 2.7 pound bowling balls. And we'll see all these bowlers ball here out of Nashville, Lita Lanes. Nick Leach from Nashville originally, now in London, New Hampshire. Returning 31 on November 10th. Dean, 60 years old, half west to right. Nick Leach, right in the pocket, perfect shot, spread eagle. 2.7 left, 3.16 on the right. Oh, Lister. Yikes. Leach. Object pin. Grabs three. Make it still three. Has the three six in the right. A good piece of wood. Trying to go into the four pin. Another one goes now. And Dina, tough four. 13 through two in the first of five. Up against Joey Lister. Good ball next. 
Leach hit the cap, it won't go. And has Nate Box. 18 through 2. He's up against Matt Susi, the defending ACST Pro Division champ this year. It's the Class A division. And after this box, we'll bring in Corey Lisi. Gene Sullivan. Off to the right. 1, 2, 7, 9, and 10. Leach back of the head pin. Breaks up the 10 pin. Now just the 7. For Pro Bowl, it's not wood. They go between 68 and 72 percent. Stats are provided by Caliphon Bowling Network. Sullivan, nice bid on the electric pin. Leads up the 9 and 10. Leach for a spare. Missed it. Dean and 9. 22 through 3. Paul Grant special. Missed the second. Make the third. Nick Leach. 10 box, 28 through 3. Corey Lisi, welcome. Hey guys, we got Dean has been making the nice adjustments he needs to make. First ball here, just off to the right a little bit. He's just a touch off. Leach right back to the head. Pin. He's been there all, all morning so far. There it is. Nice uh, shot, Leach. Strike. strike. Oh, nice shot for Sullivan. A spare. Beautiful shot for Cleary. So both on marks. Leach at 32 to ball through four. Nick Leach 38 plus two through four. On the spare. Nice ball. Five, six, six, ten leave. Leach for double. Good effort. Has the four to the left, the ten to the right. Two pieces of wood in front. Side by side. Sullivan. That's a tough shot. Good effort. Got the object pins. Is that 39 through four? Nick. Oh, what a shot for a spare. Beautiful shot on the strike. 48 through 4, 58 the ball through 5. Sullivan to 9. 48 half. Four blocks killed him. Overall on the head pin, the object pins. Here's Joey Lister on the right. He's the home ball. It's not head to head. Matt Susie, the defending ACST champ on the left. On lanes 33 and 34. Corey Lisi. Talk about your nine pin tournament. Let Joey throw his first ball here. Just off punches half Worcester. But yeah, we got a nine pin tournament coming up. Candlepin Corner Christmas Classic. Matt with his first ball. Same thing right on. Breaks up a little more than Joey's did. But yeah, we got that December 17th, a nine pin tournament Academy Lanes. For the spare, right back in the hole. $1,000 to first prize plus a sweet title belt. Matt shooting finds a hole again. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good thing. We got about four spots left, I think it is, give or take. Jordan can comment. He's in here watching, uh, looking for a big up right back in. Top two for Joey Lester. The Paul Grant shot. Shoot up the line. Sushi, nice out for a ten. Out. Yeah, we got a nine pin tournament, so basically you, you throw a nine drop to strike, you, you miss your spare and leave one pin up, that's a spare. And ten box if you leave a single pin, but Joey with his first ball, second box. Just find the head pin eight drop there. Yeah, it's gonna be, we're almost full. We're excited for it for Christmas time. A little something different. Seven drop from Matt. We've seen him hit tougher shots than this, that's for sure. This is trying to bounce back that shoe box. And got it for a spare. 12 on the ball through two. First to five from Lee Lane's Nash, New Hampshire. ACSD season open. Class eight position. Again, that 6 10 5 pin doesn't go. Dan Castle likes to call it the Castle Show. Millis. Susie back to back 10s, 20 to start. He's up against Nick Leach. He's up two right now on the split. Up against a 58 plus one half for Nick Leach. Joey Dean Sullivan, 48 half. 
So do you need a four? Enjoy a two. A half what's ouch. On the spare. 14 at the two. How often do you see that, Corey? It's tough. Um, it's part of the early season stuff. You're getting everything adjusted, coming back to fall. Susie plays match Susie game matches. AM. See, you get a slow start. I think I think by game three we'll start to see these bowlers really start to, to open it up. Half what's the right, full what's just like Dean. Coffee Cat Society. Really mad, they start just up to 10 a.m. Eastern time start. And Susie does the ball grand shot. Lister, nice out, seven out of that mess. It's 21 through three. He's down one in the string. And Susie with a Lister two box. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> you can't believe it. Two two boxes at a four box here in the first in Class A Division. Lister for a strike, it's nine. Has the six pin left up, piece of wood behind. Looking for a second mark in the string. And that's a lemon drop. One dollar for Candlepins for Cancer. If he decides to do so, he said he would. Let's a spare. A two box, a spare two, a seven, and now a spare. Susie with the three, seven, ten. If that wouldn't stop by rule, must completely stop before you throw the ball. And wasn't there for seven. Strange start here, 29 through four. Often you see two two boxes and a four box in this first. Yeah, like I said, it's an early start, fall just getting here. Some of these bowlers did bowl summer, but it's a totally different feel when you're getting back into competitive play. Joey, lane 34 on the bonus. Kaleri, he's got about 20% for pro bowls. Uh, Wood staff for about a can of bowling over. Five on the spare, 36 through four, down three in the string. To Dean Sullivan. Matt, look at the one, two, seven, ten. One in front, the wood, one in back. Joey, good bid, almost right behind the four. How'd they not go? Heck of a try. Susie, object pin, won't get to the 10. Good effort. Joey, a nine, 45 through five, down three to Dean Sullivan, halfway through the first string, and Susie, a nine, disappointing 38. He's down 20, plus the ball to Nick Leach, the defending champ. In an early hole, Paul and Grant, Corey Lisi live from Academy Lanes, April Mass. The season kickoff for the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, Class A Division, formerly known as the Pro Division. Corey, tell us about the announcement after this swift of Nick Leach. Well, first, uh, we're actually at Lita Lanes, Paul, uh, Paul said Academy. We're at Lita Lanes in Nashua for this matchup here. Another half whistler, this time on a fill. 60 half. Up 22 in the swing. Dean Sullivan. Five. After this box, tell us about the, uh, the world thing. Each second ball, two full. Three, six, ten on the right, four, seven on the left. Sullivan. Oh, getting the object pin, won't carry. Nick with a seven. Six and seven through six in the first of five. Dean Sullivan, eight, 56 through six. Yeah, so as Paul was alluding to, we are lucky enough to partner with Alley Chat in giving coverage of the Worlds, the ICC this year. Nick's first ball. Right back in the pocket, leaves four on the right side. That's a tough, tough leave. Dean, right back in the pocket again. Tough leaves here. The pins aren't breaking early. Still getting used to the ACTST season. But yeah, Candlepin Chat and Alley Chat. I'm sorry, Candlepin Corner and Alley Chat are partnering for finals. Leach with a shot. Just leaves the 
five up there. Uh, we're, we're partnering to get the finals there. We'll have some coverage for the playoff portion. Um, Frank is kind of running point, Big Ten for Nick, and Jordan is going to kind of be there. Myself will be there, get everything going, but it's uh, exciting stuff. Good stuff, Corey. Thank you. So Gene Sullivan with that nine, it's 65 through seven. Nick Leach at 10, 77 through seven. First string of five from Rita Lanes. There's another ball for a strike. Almost. Already right, has one strike. Gene breaks up the Calari. He has the one, eight, six, and ten to the right. For a spare. Yes. Third mark of the string. 87 the ball. Dean, good try on the object 10. Won't carry. It's going to be the most unluckiest guy on the object. Seems like him Brian on full. <coughs> it's a 10. 75 through 8. Does have one spare so far. Nick Leach on the spare at pin. Looks like the 8, 9, and 10. 94 through 8. Dean off to the left has the 1, 3, 7, and 10. One piece of wood. Maybe two. Two it is. Early morning start. First of two matches, 10, the doubles match at 1 o'clock, B Division. Good effort. Another good try. Again, tough sledding. Reach a 10, 104 through 9. Sullivan, 9. 84 through 9. Nick led by 22 at the halfway point, 60 to 38. Final box of the first string. Nick, half west, we've seen about five of those already. We've seen two two boxes and a four box in the first five. Sullivan again, head pin, another split. Unbelievable. It's the 4 7 and the 10 to the right, three pieces of wood. Nick, punched out two, has the check mark and the four seven of left. Try to sweep it over. Good try. Leech. Oh, what a shot. I almost pulled it off. Okay, right on the object pin for a ten. Disappointing 94 string. Nick Leach, a 10, I make that a 9, 113 first string. Those are the visiting balls here, are the home balls, not head to head. Matt Susi versus Nick Leach, now a 38 half. He needs 114 to get two points for a win, one for a tie. It's four points in total, yes. And they split the tie to total, be two points each. Joey Lister at a 45 half. He's up against Dean Sullivan's 94. Now look at the nine pin. Bunch of wood guarding it for a spare. And he got it off the wall. Didn't go initially. His first mark of the match. And Lister picks up his third spare of the string. 48 the ball through. Six for Matt Susi. Joey Lister's looking at 55 and a ball through six. Susi at 10, eight. As the three and the seven. Lister on the bonus. He gets eight also. He has the four to the left, the six to the right. Joey's at 63 through six. Matt's now at 56 through six. Defending ACST champion. 
Try to kick it over. What a shot. Almost. Blister. Wasn't there. Two difficult shots. Two great tries by two great bowlers. Susie at 10. 66 through 7. Joey Lister at a 9. 72 through 7. So Joey needs 23 pins. The next three blocks to take the first two points over Dean Sullivan in week one of the 18 week ACST flexible schedule season. Typically, bowl twice a month. Each bowler pulls same division twice. Sissy drops nine again. Getting ready for nine pounds December 17th. Lister drops down nine. Nine pin tournament here at Lee Lanes. December 7th. That's in Haverhill, actually. September 17th. December 17th. December 17th, Haverhill, Academy Lanes. That would be a strike in nine pin. They do the lot in Maine. Seems to be spare. No. Missed opportunity. Lister missed his also. Now to nine. 75 through eight. Lister a nine. 81 through eight. So Joey needs 14 pins to take the first two over Dean Sullivan. Matt needs some work. He needs 39 and two to take the first two points for Nick Leach. The last match that Matt Susie knocked Nick Leach out of the playoffs. Nick trying to return the favor here today. He won. Mr. drops down a strike. His first strike of the match. Three spares to go with it. He's going to win the first string and take the first two points over Dean Sullivan. Susie on the object pin. Good effort. Leads up the six to the right, the eight to the left. Joey has won a five, a ten, and a twenty string in his career. Susie a nine, eighty-four. He's a double, a triple strike to win. Double nine is tied. He is very capable of coming back. He's had some. He was down thirty-nine to eight leads in that semifinal. He came back and won it by eleven. And he made a great comeback in the fifth string. He's an explosive bowler. Another lemon drop. It's two dollars for candle prints for cancer from Matt Susi. Lister working a strike. Has the two point seven of the ten, one piece of wood. Susi gets second ball. Almost. Nick Leach takes the first two points. Lister. Oh, what a try. Big nine in the strike. One hundred through nine. Susie at nine, disappointing 93. Joey Lister, a 10, 110 first string. So Joey Lister beats Dean Sullivan, 110 to 94 is a 16 pin lead. Matt Susie, 93. Nick Leach at a 113, so Matt trails by 20. And we start second and five from the Lita Lanes in National New Hampshire. You're watching the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, week one, season kickoff. The Class A division, formerly known as the Pro Division. Paul Grant, Corey Lisa with you live. Corey, your thoughts on the first string? All the bowlers bowled well. There were a lot of shots that didn't go that should have. Uh, a couple of them started to find it, but I think I think we're in for a shootout the rest of the way through. I think the bowlers are starting to find their footing. All right, Corey, you want to call a few boxes? Yeah, I'll get you here. So Corey Lisi, the play-by-play. -play. So we got Dean Sullivan on the right, Nick on the left. Nick took the first match, 113-93. to 93. Dean lost by 16, and Dean definitely bowled better than his score would give off. He hit a lot of his object pins, a lot of great bowling there. First ball to start. Right back in the pocket. That one breaks up. That wasn't breaking up last game. Nice eight drop there. Nick just off to the right. No break for him there. He's going to have a good shot. Have to have a good shot there to get the spare. Dean looking to get a mark here to get it started. And he sure does. Spare to start for Dean Sullivan. And Nick with his opportunity goes. Gives it a bid. It looked like it just touched the 10 pin, but it didn't want to go. Nice bid there for Nick Leach. He'll start open. And he gets a nine box there.
Gene Sub was brilliant tonight. Riverwalk, if you've watched that match, you can watch it on uh, Facebook. Yeah, for all network on Facebook. 25 consecutive hits. Friday night, 42 or 50 in the match. He goes to the fill here. Right back on the head, but he drops 10. Big strike on spare there. Much better start for Dean. He's he's going to be motivated from that last game. Nick gives his his bid to a strike there and just leaves, leaves a single pin. See if he can capitalize on it here. For the spare, right on it. Leach at a 19 plus a ball. Dean is at a 30 plus two. Dean is starting to find it. He was throwing a good ball last game, but they just weren't breaking for him. They're starting to break up for him here, and I think he's about to go on a tear. Dean's first ball, third box. Right back on the head pin, and that's the break he was getting last game. He deserves much better than that leave he just got there, but let's see if he can find it. Leach, Phil, he's off again, but throwing a working ball. Nice seven, Phil. Puts him at a 26 through two. Dean. Just way off left there, just picks out the seven for a five fill in the strike. It's an eight box there. Great start, big 10 for Nick there. Nice shot by Nick. Nick is a great bowler. I bowled with him in the mixed worlds. He is quite the bowler. Oh, what a Dean shot! Dean right back on it again. I'm not even going to erase that strike there. He is at a 53 to 4 with 2 to go. Nick gives it a wiggle there, but no spare. Didn't want to go. D Dean is finding. He was he was right on his object pin, Dean Sullivan, last game, and they're finally starting to break up for him. <coughs> that was a no doubter, that's for sure. Nick just misses. Looking for the 10 box here. Right there for the 10. It's always how it works in Canada. It's always easier the second time. Now I joke about it more than, more than I actually did, but I miss my share of uh, second shots. Hey, as, as we all do, especially single pins. Dean looking to get right back to head pin. Just off left, but a good mix there. Still going need to need a shot to get that seven pin to go. Nick right back to the head pin. Tough break, a little full there. Nick says only bowled four times during the summer. Sometimes you need that break. You need that when you're bowling a lot in the fall. Dean looking for it. Oh, he gave it a great bid, but seven did not want to go. How many times does he miss about just that much? That's what I'm saying. That the whole first game, he was on his objects, and they just didn't go. They finally broke up this game. The big 10, big 72 half for Dean Sullivan. Great half. Nick with a good bid to try and get that 10. 94, 72 half. Funny game, isn't it? As he was all over, he was just getting some bad breaks. This time, the pins are starting to be a little more friendly to Dean. Now continue on, Corey. You got the first half here. Sure, this is one of the first swing, by the way. 1994, Dean Sutton up 16. That's since he lost by 20 to the bleach. 113.93. Second swing of five, Middle East Hash Manship. Back to Corey Lee's. So Joey has big shoes to fill up that first half from Dean. Matt wants to start finding things here. Let's see if Joey can answer. First ball, he's right back to the head pin. Drops eight. This leaves the corner. Matt's off to the right, but he gets a little bit of a break. Some friendly pieces of wood there. If that one comes and sits on the head pin, he might have a nice shot here, but it looks like it's staying out. Joey gives it a bit, but just chops one. Matt's going to have a hell of a shot here if this goes. Just missed by a little bit, but good good to drop off. So he's got 110 up there now. Joey for the 10. Yeah, no nine. good. That'd be 9 box. Start of the bat for the 2 box. Yeah, what's the same spot three times. And 
nine for Matt as well. So Corey, after this match, it's set up broadcast, 1 p.m. today here at National Nash 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 Lanes. Last week matchup, week one season kickoff, a doubles match, J.K. Tourney versus Dominic Alonino, Howard versus Sean Prendable, right here at 1 o'clock on ECSK Facebook. Got a great Labor Day full of bowling here. And also, don't, don't forget this, I believe it's this upcoming weekend, Lita has the second leg of the Triple Crown as Matt almost gets a backdoor strike there. Second leg of the Triple Crown, the uh, Triple Crown, the 10 stringer, Joey Lister, for the spare shot. He won the first leg of that, the 5 stringer. There's a 5, a 10, and a 20. And also, September 17th, Outrun the Bear, their scratch tournament. Still looking for entries for the spare for Sushi, right on it. Outrun the Bear is still looking for bowlers. They will take bowlers up until the live draw, which Danny typically has the night of. Eight box there for Joey, 17 through two. To guarantee $2,000 first place prize. It's one of the best prizes in with their sponsors. I don't have an O'Mel's Commonwealth Cafe. There's a bunch of sponsors they get for that. I don't have the list in front of me, unfortunately. Danny, Caitlin, Finn, and Carrie, also. Yeah, they do a great job with that tournament, so sign up, get there for the scratch tournament. Candlepin Corner will be broadcast in the finals. Chris Waterman will be on the call. Myself and Jordan should be there as well to lend a hand in any way we can. So this is for the fill. Right back on the head pin. It's 2-2 two, two split, that's a, not something you want to see. Six is a good fill, but not a lead you want. Joey's going to rough leave himself. Gives it a bid, leaves two. Matt looking to squeeze it together, just off. Chops out one. Joey going for the 10. And he's wide right. 25-3 for Joey. He started to the last game, he poured it on towards the end. Seven box there for Matt. 32 through three. He went on a hell of a run there to get to the championship. Took it down a lot of good bowlers. And uh, was a seven seed, went all the way to win it. Joey's first ball, fourth box. Again, just off right. He's throwing a good ball, just not missing by much. But Dean's first half, Joey's really gonna find something here. Backs the head pin, leaves up the 10. Joey needs a big shot here. Right on it, and just doesn't go. Great bid, couldn't have hit it any better than he did. Matt going for the spare here. He drops it in for a nine box. Big 10 for Joey, puts him at 35 through four. With the 72 he's facing, the 72 happy spacing, we'd really love to sit on a mark here. He needs uh, needs something to, to bring some momentum in, especially where Dean is open in the fifth box. He needs something to start. A strike would be huge. Good ball there, no, and a mix there for, for Joey. Uh, we typically do Sundays. I am in Orlando this Sunday, so I will not be around to do one. I'm not sure if Jordan's going to go live without me. He is more than welcome to, um, but we'll wait and see. Tough off to the left there for Matt. Joey's going to need a big shot here. Get this. Takes out half of them with the wood. Will be open in half. And great shot by Matt Susie. Puts him at 51 half plus a ball. And big 10 for Joey there with a 45 half. Not the half he wanted, especially facing Dean 72. But we'll see what Dean, how Dean can finish this half, and we'll bring it back to Paul Grant and to, to call the end of this match, game two. Thank you, Corey. Dean Sullivan has a 27 pin lead over Joey Lister. Joey won the first string, 110 to 94. So Dean's up 11 in the match. Matt Susi lost the first to Nick Leach by 20 pins, 113.93. Nick a 55 half, Matt 51 plus a ball. He's down 24 right now, Nick Leach. As he drills down nine, he has three spares and one strike in the match so far. Dean Sullivan, one three seven. Dean with one spare and two strikes here in the second, and one spare in the first. Leach, oh, he goes finally for a spare. Sullivan on the object pin again, but a little too thin.
Nick Leach, 65, with a ball through sixth, second of five from Lee Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire. ACST week one kickoff. Nine for Dean, 81 through six. So how it works is two divisions of 16 teams in the conference. Four in each division. Each division bowls each other twice, the first three weeks and the last three weeks, and then everybody else at least one, only once the rest of the year, then the playoffs. Top eight make the playoffs. The winners play in the north plays the winner from the south. Nick Leach, seven on the spare. 72 through six, second string. Triangle, six, nine, and ten. For a spare, not quite. Sullivan in the hole. Good pinning for Nick at 10. 82 through 7. Sullivan only got two that time. Not happy with that shot. Tough five. With a four box in the first string of five here in the second. 86 through 7. Nick Leach has the two, five, and the seven. Sullivan head pin for a strike, nine. Six pin remains. Just a steady, consistent bullet by Corey. Leach missed the object pin. He's at the two and the seven. Sullivan for a spare. Got it. 96 in the ball through eight, second of five. Leach, nice 10, 92 through eight. Nick with two spares in the string. He had two in the first with one strike. And Dean now with two spares and two strikes here in the second. Lost the first 110-94. Up here in the second, up in the match. Leach, thin hit, got two. That's the shot I got in Kalen for the cash. Come over the second double strike. Come over the double strike. At the end of the show, actually. About one. Dean looking at the three, six, and the ten. One of the three through eight after that fell. Another spare. Second in the row. One thirteen the ball through nine. Three spares and two strikes in this turn. Nick takes eight out of that. One hundred through nine. Nick won the first string of Matt Susie. One thirteen ninety three. Two points for a win. One for tie. Four for total. First of 18 weeks. Leach crosses over. Three, five, and the 10. Sullivan, head pin again. Cliff Wing Eagle. One. They gave him a four. That's a five fill, Joey. Joey, five fill. Plus 118, not 117. Leach missed it. Matt cheering him on. He trying to kick it over. Good try. Won't get back in time for the pins. Leads up to six and a ten. Nick, a nine. And he ends up with a 109 second string. 113, 109, 222 through two. Dean Sullivan a ten. And a very great second string coming up at 94. Gets a 127 second string. And that brings the 221 through 2. 128, that's why the scoreboard was off. So 128, 222. Room 222, an old TV show. 222 through 2 for Dean Sullivan. Nice bounce back. 94 and 128. Can they correct that on the scoreboard? Okay. All right, so it's showing 127 on the scoreboard. It's 128 officially. Susie, trying to get back in the lead. 3 2 split. Blister, 5, 6, and 10. 5 in a spare from that, 56 half. Up against Nick Leach. Oh, what a try, almost. 
Lister, good effort. Leads up the six and ten. Matt leads up the six to the right. Joey at a 45 half. He's down 27 in strength. But up down the match by 11. Susie a nine. 65 through six. Joey Lister an eight. 53 through six. The match down seven in strength. He's down 13 in the match to Nick Leach. And Joey's down 28 to Dean Sullivan. Down 12 in the match. Three for Susie. Lister in the head pin has a 2-1 split. 6-10 on the right, 7 to the left, two pieces of wood. Second of five strings from uh, Lita Lanes. Lita Lanes National Hampshire Academy Lanes will be the nine pin tournament. December 17th. Put together by Corey Lisi and Jordan Britton. Good second ball by Susie. Leads up the two pin. Wood coming out of play. Lister. Used the wood. Got the seventh in the goal only for an eight. With the ball to go. I think. Susie, one more pin to go as Dean removes that wood. One for a ten box here. So, Corey, tell, make the announcement again about the uh, alley chat. For those just. So, Candlepin Corner and Alley Chat are going to be teaming up for the ICC finals and playoff structure. Um, so, Saturday the finals are typically Friday night. I think Jordan Frank will be there kind of uh, commentating, filming, doing all the, all the good setup to get the broadcast for the world finals here in November at Academy Lanes in Haverhill. That's Veterans Day week. Now, since with official nine, let's do the ten. Joey's at 63 through 7. Matt's at 74 through 7. Matt's down 8 in the string, down 28 in the match. Nick Leach. And Joey trails, De trails Dean Sullivan by 23 in the string, 7 in the match. Let's see, right in the pocket. Slams down 9. Half was to right, so a lot of those in the first. Nine characters and stuff for Joey Lister. It's got this, the match with a uh, half Worcester two bucks and had a nice finish with the 110 to take the first two points. Over Dean Sullivan. Susie is fair. 80 point of ball through eight. Lister leads up the one and the six. Matt's third spare of the string. He had one spare in the first. Joey at nine. Get the ball to go. Correction is nine bucks. 72 through eight. So he trails by 31 to Dean Sullivan in the string. He's down 15 in the match. Susie, head pin, leads up the three and the 10. 92 through eight, Lister, eight has the five and the nine. So Dean will take the second string. It'll be two points apiece. Again, two for a win, one for tie, four for total. First week of the season. Susie's open. Lister for a spare. Got it to go. Made it interesting, didn't he? Eighty-two in the ball through nine. I believe it's his first mark of the string. Yeah. And Matt, an eight, 100 through nine. The even the string. He's nine to tie, 10 to win. Lost the first 113.93. Nine to tie, 10 to win for two points. The current ACST champ from last season. He was awesome for the playoffs. That's nice ball, nine. Tied Brister for a strike. It's nine and a half. On the bonus, 91 through 9. High piece of wood. Can be tricky. How are you playing this wood, uh, Jordan? Uh, Corey, the other? Jordan. Corey? Oh. I'm going the right of the red line to try and get it to spin back. And he, he got it. it. He, he wins, wins the, the second, second string. string. So both matches are tied, two apiece. Lister gets it for a spare. Joey, 101 in the ball in the 10th. Matt Susie, 110 in the ball. 
Three more strings to go after this. Let's see. Not a break. That's seven out of that. Make it eight. And he ends up with a 118 second string. Joey Lister a six in the fill. He gets a 107. 110, 107, 217 through two. Matt Susi a 93 and a 118, 211 through two. 211 through two. So at the two strings, Nick Leach leads it, 222 to 211. They each won one string. They each have two points. Dean Sullivan, 222. Joey Lister 217. So Dean Sullivan has a five-pin lead after losing the first by 16. Paul and Grant, Corey Lee's with you live from Lee Lance, Nash, New Hampshire. You watch the Atlantic Candlefin Singles Tour. Class A division replacing the Pro Division. Season kickoff, Matt Nay. And, and back to Corey Lee. No, okay. Corey defers. Thank you for watching this great game at Candlefin Bowling. Again, 1 o'clock today. Class B matchup. Doubles match, J.J. Terigny, Dominic Palladino. And Craig Powell versus Sean Prendable. Candlefins for Cancer qualifying round start tomorrow from Manchester, New Hampshire at Lakeside Lanes, 10, 11 o'clock shift, 11 a.m. And Thursday, September 8th, 11 a.m. Dean Sullivan starts the third, drops down nine. A 35 start, first two in Austrian. That's the 10 pin. Leach goes right and gets three. For spare, missed it. The tough with that wood there. Should have get around that wood. Leach leaves up the one, three, and the eight. Channel Pinch cancel tomorrow, 11 a.m. Streaming live on Channel Pinch Bowling Network. And Thursday, if you want to bowl, register Channel Pinch number four, cancel.com. Channel Pinch number four, cancel.com. Dean Sullivan a nine, Nick Leach an eight. All the money for the entry fees go to the Bowlers Prize Fund. Donations go to the charity directly. So this will help the Bowlers Fund. So the more the merrier. Tuesday, Thursday, also Saturday and Sunday, September 10th and 11th, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Six shifts available. Register Candlefins number four, cancer.com. Again, Candlefins number four, cancer.com. If you can't bowl, if you'd like to donate any amount, we'd be appreciated. Candlefins number four, cancer.com. Finals will be on September 25th, Sunday, 11 a.m. at Fortunate Bowlerama, the top five. Prize fund based on number of applicants. Dean, nice ball, head pin, too full. Leach missed everything. Dean gets eight. 17 through two in the third of five. Nick, oh, pretty sharp for 10. Wish he had that the second shot. 18 through two. Nick won the first ring against Mansusi. These are the visiting bowlers here, not head to head. Nick beat Matt 113.93. Matt with a big mark in the 10th box. Won the second, 118 to 109. Nick up by 11 in the match. 222 to 11. Dean Sullivan back in the head pin. What else is new? Nine. Has the two pin remaining for a spare. Leach right in the pocket. Diamond plus the 10 pin. Sullivan for spare. Got it. Fifth mark, fifth spare. Go, go with two strikes in the match. 27 the ball through three in the third. Leach is open. Dean lost the first 110 to 94. Came stowing back in the second, 128, 107. Leads by five coming in. 222, 217 over Joey Lister. Seventh Nick Leach. 25 through three. Corey, very tough division, isn't it? Probably the toughest division, you would think, huh? One of them. Yeah, there are some absolutely great bowlers across the board. With the amount of bowlers that there are now in the three conferences, there's some great B bowlers that could easily be A's last year and C bowlers that could have been B's last year. So it's uh, it's going to make things interesting next year. Dean Sullivan, nine. 
Spare. 36. 33 for another one. Twice he's missed that, that 10 pin. Two missed opportunities. Nick looking at the 6 pin. 72% chance to convert. And he missed it. He missed a couple also. Wasn't there for Dean. Tough nine. 45 to 4. Dean, six spares and two strikes in the match. Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third. For Nick Leach, 35 after four and the third of five. Labor Day matinee, first of two matches today. Again, at one o'clock, a separate broadcast, Class B division, first week, J.J. Terigny versus Dominic Palladino and Craig Powers versus Sean Prendable, right here at one o'clock on Facebook on ACST. Dean Sullivan back in the headpin again in a 5 6 10 lead. We've seen a few of those today. Leach goes left. He's at the 1, 3, and the 6. Dean's in the hole. Off the wall. Got it. To go. Sigh of relief. Nick Leach is spare. 45 half plus one. And Dean a tough seven. 52 half with two marks. But Joey Lister, who won the first by 16 over Dean Sullivan, 110.94, lost the second, 108.107, is down five coming in here. So need 57 to tie, 58 to take the lead halfway through the match. Matt Susi, 93 first string with one spare, got three in the second, at a 118. He's down 11 coming in to Nick Leach. He's up against a 45 plus one, so he needs 56 to tie. And that's fair to, to match. Joey at the one, two, four, seven, four. Susi goes right, one, two, seven, eight, nine. Two pieces of wood, side by side. Lister going for a spare. Looks good. He's got it. Spare to start the third. Six spares and one strike of the match. Susie, good bid. Leaves up the head pin, though. Defending champ. Lost the first, won the second. Joey Lister won the first against Dean Sullivan. Lost the second. 2-2 two, two for all the bowls. Susie a nine. Matt from Nash, New Hampshire. For life. High symbol of 184 in the ACST last year against Chris Winniars. Chris threw a 142, the same string and lost with three three marks. Susie for a strike, it's nine. Leaves up the nine pin. For a spare. Oh, wow. How did they not go? Seven in the spare, though, before that. 17 up to one. Up eight in the string. He's up three in the match. Susie gets it for a spare. 19 in the ball through two here in the third. Joey Lister at 10, 27 through two. He's up 10 in the string on Dean Sullivan. He's up five in the match. Up against a spare nine here, though. Matt now with five spares. Looking for his first strike. Lister, the half was to right, the three, nine, the ten. Susie on the bonus, looks good. Nine, almost a strike. Nudge the four pin, six pin rather, wouldn't go. 28 through two. Great piece of wood, guarding that six pin. Lister, oh, what a try. Susie for spare, got it. He's got two in a row, 38 in the ball through three here in string number three from Lita Lanes. Lister, right on, 10. Perfect string so far, spare seven, two tens, 37 through three. He's up one in the string, he's down four in the match, Dean Sullivan. 
been a great battle all morning long so far. First of two matches today. Joey, half Worcester. See about half a dozen or more of those today, Corey. My least favorite shot. Susie on the spare tail, goes right, breaks up the horseman, has the one, four, and seven. 45 through three. He's up 20 in the string. He now leads the match by nine. Let's go and a shot for a spare. The Justin Lion A special. His second spare of the string. 47 to ball through four. Susie. Oh, what a shot. Wow, a spare. That'd be bonus money on channel five. Three in a row. 55 and a ball through four. Lister. Close to head pin. Eight. Has the half Worcester two and the eight. 55 through four. He's up 10 in the string, five in the match. Susie, right in the pocket for a strike, it's nine. 64 through four, what a start. Lister for a spare, missed it. Susie for another one. Oh, got away from him. That would have been four in a row. A lot of singletons missed today. Lister. Nine. Sixty-four half. Susie a nine. Seventy-three half though. What a string. They, they won me, like you said, Corey, you're right. They kind of let up here in the third. We're halfway through the match from Needle Lanes National New Hampshire. Week one of the Atlantic Candlefin Singles Tour, Class A Division from Needle Lanes National New Hampshire, Paul Drain, Corey Lisi. Joey Lister, 64, Dean Sullivan, 52. Joey up 12 in the string, up seven in the match. Matt Susie is up 73-45, but Nick Leach is on a spare. So right now he's up 28 in the string. He's up 17 in the match. On the spare, he gets seven. One, two, seven, and 10. 51 half, down 22 in the string. Down 11 in the match. Back, back to Corey Lisi. So like I said earlier, these bowlers are starting to find it here in the third. You could tell from the way they were throwing the ball, something was going to give for them. The pins are starting to loosen up. Corey, you're better predicting than Jordan is. <laughs> <laughs> My bracket was just as busted as his was, so. I'll can't. just tease you guys. Unfortunately, finds a hole for a seven box, puts him at a 59 through six. It was a strange start to the match, Corey. A couple of two boxes and four box. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's been iffy at the beginning. They were just off by a couple boards here and there. Nick with a big first ball here, right back on the head pin. Two two split. That's a tough one. Dean for his first ball, just off to the left a little bit. Bowlers are going to need to have some shots here to make these. You got to talk about your son, about his bowling, too. Yeah, he's still, uh, he, he took advantage of the Kids Bowl Free Summer Academy, for sure. My wife spent a lot of time at the Academy with him to uh, get him going, but get another year before he starts bowling in Kids League. That's really good. Great bid by Dean. Should have gone there, but no luck on the 10. Again, on his object pin, again, nothing to show for it. It's been all day for Dean. The 128 all came together, so I, I predict next game will be just as big as that second game. That won't count. Nine. Nine's across the board for both bowlers. 69 for Nick, 58 for Dean. 68 for, for Dean. A couple boxes to make something happen. They got three to go here. I think they definitely want to see some marks pour onto the board here, Nick. First ball. Just off the left, four horsemen to the right. We had a great C match yesterday, too, and hit Cannon table after that. Tony Levesque, 146 dot. Both matches were tight. Great day of bowling there. Dean off to the left again, he leaves. We saw one match with the biggest win was no more than six pins before the five strings. 
Yeah, there's some great bowling out there. There's a lot. There's 1,008 matches total in ACS here. You're bound to see some great matches streamed all over Facebook and Twitch. Nick just off the head pin. This is Lee's just the head pin standing. He ain't going for his spare. Matt just Huff, off the head pin. Sorry, Matt Huff wins the main ACS today. The 15 team, Stephen Ash, is 16 year old sensation. Talk about this, Matt. It's a nine for Nick there. And Dean gets a 10. Stephen Ash, he's 16 year old at all playing Belfast. Joined in last moment. First two blocks of the match, double strike. 152. Paul Dyer, the owner of all play, brought up recently. His wife, Lynn Dyer, had a 178 third string, just missing the house record by 110 at 179. They've only been this in 2014. Mark Carrier broke three house records there in the last main money match. That money match that, that he broke all those records, that was fun to watch. Those that was first a fun two bowling. Those first two were awesome matches. Nick gives it a great bit there, just doesn't want to go, a little stubborn there. Again, hitting the objects, the, the spares just aren't falling. Dean for his. He nails it. Those main money matches you can watch on Caleb and Bowling Network. Great matches, even the first match. So again, tell the viewers about Caleb and Corn, how they can subscribe also, Corey. Sorry, I was updating the scoring there. Uh, you go to twitch.tv slash candlepincorner, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. We are live to talk bowling every Sunday. We're a little lull right now for some vacation time. Nick's first ball right there, hammer time for Nick Leach. Great ball. Dean looking for a big fill. Right into the pocket, a little light on the right side there, but great spare leaves, six fill on the spare. Via yeah, Candlepin Corner on Twitch. We'll have some some bowling, some tournaments. ACBT will go run through Candlepin Corner. I'll run the bear goes through Candlepin Corner. Deep for the spare. Drills it. Great shot there. They're starting to go here. Again, we got room for. They had some room there. They came alive with some marks there. That puts Dean at a 104 through 10 plus a ball. And Nick is at a 98 plus two. Off to the left, the half worcester we have seen so often today, unfortunately. Dean's fill. Again, off there, and just a four fill. Puts him at a 108 game. And Nick finishes his fill with a seven for a 105. We're gonna put a little bit of pressure on there towards the end as Matt and Joey come to try and answer that call, but Matt is already on such a tear, it might not matter. We're gonna give it back to Paul Grant for the call on the second half of this game. All right, Corey, tell us about the Amazon on Prime, how they can subscribe to you for free on Kenilton Corner. Oh, yeah. If you hit subscribe and link your Amazon Prime account, it is free to you. It is $0 if you already are an Amazon Prime member, you pay for that service. They let you subscribe to one Twitch channel, and if you guys could make it Candlebin Corner, it would be very much appreciated. All proceeds go right back to making the stream better. How about the WoW shirts? <laughs> In the high quality Guild and WoW shirts with proceeds to Candlebin to Cancer. Contact Paul for yours today. Or Frank Toluca. We can go to colors for you if you want different sizes too. Let us know. All right, back to live action. Matt Susie. Object pin almost has three pin left up. Lister leads up the two and a ten. Matt a seventy three half. Joey a sixty four half. Susie a ten. Lister an eight. Joey 72 through 6, Matt, Matt Sissy 83 through 6. Matt's up 23 in the string. He's up 12 in the match. Box to box. Joey Lister 72 through 6. He's up 13 in the string, up 8 in the match. I think it's a 108 string from Dean Sullivan. Susie breaks the triangle as a 3 and 6. Another half Worcester for Joey Lister. Start of the match up with a 2 box, half Worcester. Match up against a 105 third string from Nick Leach. Great chance to take four of six right now. For a spare, Noah got robbed in that time. Lister, ball grand shot. Joey's up against a 108 string from Dean Sullivan, who's at 330. And Susie with a ball grand special, missed the second, make the third. For a 10, 93 through seven. Lister an eight. 
80 from seven. So Matt is in great shape here to win the spring. Eight box. Nice ball. Nine. Kingpin left up. The five pin. Blister on the nose. Two two split. Four seven left. Six ten on the right. Joey won the first. Dean won the second. Nick Leach beat Matt the first. Matt beat Nick the second. And he gets it for a spare. 103 and a ball in the eighth. Blister. Thought he might go for the wood. The two on the right. Joey for the 10. 90 through 8. He's up 12 on the string on Dean Sullivan. 7 in the match. He needs 19 and two boxes to take to take four out of six points and win the string. Again, two points for a win, one for tie, four for total. Matt needs just two to clinch the string in this bill. And it'll be up 4-2 on Nick Leach after losing the first by 20. And there it is. He leads four points to two, gets nine. Lister has the half Worcester in the middle. To the left, the two and the eight, seven, ten goal poles. Ten pin will not go down. Matt one. 12 through 8. It's a 34 in the string. Another spare. On fire here in the third. Lister, what a try! Wow, what a shot for a spare! Third spare of the string. Now with five marks in the string. Joey's at 100 and a ball through 9, so. Got a good chance of winning this with Dean and going up four points to two. Two great matches here. Four outstanding bowlers. Six in the pocket, drill seven. Lister, flip wing eagle. Matt's at 129 through nine. Joey's at 105 through nine. He's won that second string over Dean. Leads four to two. Lucy, open. List leads at the three, six, and the seven. Two more strings to go after this. First of two matches today. JJ Terigny, Dominic Palladino, Craig Powers, Sean Prendable, one o'clock here. Task B matchup. Week one. Susie and eight. Very impressive. 137. Getting better each string. 93, 118, 137. Joey Lister at nine for a 114. Third string. And he takes it 114 to 108 over Dean Sullivan. By six. He's at three thirty-one. He leads the match by one over Dean Sullivan. Matt Susi with that one thirty-seven is now up to three forty-eight. He lost by twenty. Now he leads by twenty-one on the match over Nick Leach. Three forty-eight, three twenty-seven. He watched the Atlantic Candlepin singles tour, class A division, replacing the pro division from Lee Lanes Nash New Hampshire, along with Corey Lisi, the co-host of Candlepin Corner on Twitch with Jordan Britton. I'm Paul Grant. Corey, your thoughts so far on the match? With two more to go, two more things to go. It's been some outstanding bowling so far. A lot of the bowlers are still finding their spot. Uh, I can't can't keep harping on enough how much Dean is getting hosed on some of his shots. He's right where he needs to be, and the pins just aren't cooperating with him. So it's uh, been back and forth. I predict this is going to be a big one for Dean. Um, you're going to see a big answer, and these pins are going to start breaking up from this game. It's been insane. The momentum swings back and forth, and the answers each bowler has. Well, that's what you get when you're in you're in pro territory with these these Division A bowlers. Um, and this is what you get to get to see all season long in this A division. That's for sure. And these are division rivals, all four in the same division. Again, they bowl each other the first three weeks to not taking turns. And they bowl each other the last three weeks this season. They bowl in, other people in the division once. And the final three weeks are going to be the real interesting ones because that's when you're fighting for positioning, you're fighting for a playoff berth, and you see what happens. It's like the old AFC East where like three or four teams make the playoffs, it seems like. It's exactly what it is. It's going to be interesting. He chops out just the two pin there. Fourth string underway at five. Lita. Page is open. <coughs> Nick won the doubles title with Austin Barnes at Exeter earlier this year. His first pro title tour. Dean Sullivan has one pro tour title under his belt also. He gets an eight. Each with a seven. Right. 
Dean's 60 years old in Manchester, New Hampshire. It was number two seed in Caleb Spencer Cancer qualifying round in Exeter, the third round this year. He's also won up in that otherwise up in that pro title. He's won a seven-time winner at King of the Palace and a two-time outrun the Bear champion as well. Nice single of 193, high triple of 450. Cross is over, then hit three. Page has the one, two, and the seven. Sullivan, object pin, good effort. Woke up the five, has the four and seven. Nick Bullen, all his life, competitively the last six plus years. Pulls the Friday Night Men's League, Pro League, Academy One team as he gets a spare. 17 the ball through two here in the fourth. Dean Sullivan a 10, 18 through two. So Nick Leach won by 20. Lost by nine, lost by 32. It's down 21 in the match coming in. And Dean Sullivan going back and forth with Joey Lister. Dean hit it again, and he has the half whistle left, the two eight and the five dread. A great piece of wood to help in the middle. Leach goes right and gets four. Dean with seven spares and two strikes in the match. And missed the object pin that time. Beside himself. Leach, good effort there. Leaves up to six and ten. He had ten. Twenty-eight through three in the fourth of five. Nick matches a ten. Thirty-one through three. Nick uses 2.7 Echo Pro rubber bowling balls, Dexter shoes, high single 176, high triple 446, high five 672. A 30 year old, going at a high level. Dean, again, the head pin, 5 for 5, 4 for 4 rather, this time, spread eagle. And Nick gets a break with a 7 pin going down, that's the 6 9 10 triangle. That piece of wood might be in the way, not in good shape now. Sullivan, only got one. Reach a spare. Second spare of the string, 41 of the ball through four. Dean, tough seven, making an eight. Good out, 36 through four. Dean's down one on the match, coming in to Joey Lister. Nick Leach is down 21 coming in. He's on a spare on lane 33. He's a machinist. He has an education degree, associate degree in precision manufacturing from Nashua Community College here in Nashua, New Hampshire. Sullivan again on the head pin, again, another split. Five for five in the head pin. Leach for a strike on spare, yes! 51 through four, 61 half plus two. Third strike of the match. Dean slipped. Held this ground. And someone got those two to go. Nine. And they're gonna call a seven. It's a foul, I guess. Or he says a seven box. So 43 half to 20 half. Five for five and a head pin. Get a 43 half. Just no luck. Just a precision bowler. Joey Lister on lane 34. Starting his fourth string. Matt Susie on the left. Defending ACST champion in the Pro Division. Great match against Justin Waters. Watch it on the Open Bowling Network. Joey, the parallel pins plus the nine. see another lemon. That's three lemon drops today. One in practice. One in practice, which doesn't count. Yeah, optional donations. He has accepted. Good try by Lister. as the two and a five. Susie, nice second ball. Has the seven ten goal post.
Lister? Nine. Nine. Start the four. Pinnacles for cancer qualifying round starts tomorrow at Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, 11 a.m. and Thursday, September 8th, 11 a.m. and this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 11 and 2. Register online, Pinnacles number four, cancer.com. Lister for a strike, it's nine. That's Pinnacles number four, cancer.com. If you can't bowl, please donate to the charity, which helps families suffering from chemo and radiation treatment. Pinnacles number four, cancer.com. Susie. Strike! Raise the flag. His first strike of the match. 19 the ball. 19 plus 2. Through 2 here in the fourth. Blister for a spare. Missed it. Well, seven or eight single pins missed today, Corey. Unusual amount. You're not going to get it all the time, but. That was a tough one. You had a tough yeah. piece of wood there that he's trying to navigate. It wasn't there. 18 through 2 in the fourth of 5 from Nashua. A great match, Corey, all day long. When you get bowlers of this quality, you get Friday Pro Bowlers, you get Joey, the Sunday Exeter Pro Captain, who drafted me. We get a lot of great talent here. Lister half, Lister for the umpteenth time today. Susie in the pocket. And it holds up. <laughs> He's willing it down. It won't go. He's wearing a wow shirt. It would have gone down. As the two and the four moving over, 6-10. Let's throw another half Worcester, a full Worcester. Yikes. One thing worse now would be a center Worcester, the one and five. Matt's working a strike, though. you got to be careful with that announcer's curse there, Paul. Don't, don't will it in. I know. Manchester, New Hampshire. Susie, what a shot! Look, go, yes! Wow, a spare on strike. Lister, he got it! Unbelievable! He doesn't know James. Unbelievable! One, two, three, half was to left, half was to right, half was to center. How often do you see that one? A six, 24 through three. Susie, 29 through 2, 39 the ball through 3. If I'm Joey Lister, I never want to see it again. Lane reset in lane 34. Corey, well, there's a break in the action to talk about. You can't open corner again, and also the alley chat uh, right to the finals. Yeah, we'll be at the World's Finals. Um, I think George is going to try and do some, some streaming. He might be doing a little bowling, word on the street is. Uh, but we're going to try and get some, some good coverage with that with Frank and Ali Chad. And for, should be a good week of bowling. Matt Stussy working on a spare after a strike on lane 33. He's feeling it, but a half whisk that slows him down. Another one of those. Two on the fill. 41 through 3 here in the fourth. Lister, oh, what a try, almost. What a bid that was. So you see, two full, punched out two. Check mark plus the 4 7. Joey, 10. Gentleman shot, 34 through 4 in string number 4. Susie, tough seven, 48 through four. He's up a 61 half against a 61 plus two half. Nick Leach on a spare coming up next. Congrats up 21 in the match coming in. The fourth. Lister in the pocket. Five, eight, and the seventh left. No wood, no luck. Looking for his first mark here on the string. Susie. Boss is over, thin hit. Check a triangle rather in the corner of the 6, 9, 10. Has the 8th left with one piece of wood to work with. Get up the pool stick here, Corey. Minnesota Fast, where are you? Oh, what a try! Up holes by Lister. That looked great. Thought he had that one. What a try. Denied a spare. 
Outstanding effort. Susie, a little too far right. Try to scoot around that wood. Lister, 10, 44 half. He's up one in a string on the Dean Sullivan. He's up two in the match. Susie, a nine, 57 half. Halfway through the fourth string from Lita Lance, National Hampshire. You're watching the Atlantic Camel Fence Singles Tour season kickoff week one. Class A division, great matchup. Nick Leach against Matt Susie. Dean Sullivan against Joey Lister. The visiting bowlers are up now. Dean Sullivan down just two in the match to Joey Lister. Joey's up four to two in the match. Nick Leach is trailing Matt Susie four to two in the points. He's working a strike here on lane 34. He's up four right now in the string. Down 17 in the match. And a bid for a double. He gets eight, though. Got a break on the seven. As a six and ten, two pieces of wood. Got it. Sullivan back in the head. Pin for a strike, almost. Two pin holds up. He's up to four. I can't tell. Is up to four, Corey? Turned around. There's a lot of them. Leach for a spare. Got it. Spare on strike. Sullivan answers with a spare. 53 in the ball through six. Nick Leach, 71 half. 81 in the ball through six. Here in the fourth. He's up 14 in the string. He's down seven in the match. I'll have to reset here on lane 34. And they've gone back and forth all day. All the bowlers have gone back and forth all day. After a sluggish first string. So recapping, Nick Leach against Matt Susi. Nick won the first 113.93. Matt won the second 118.109. Matt won the third 137.105. It was up 21 coming in. But Nick has cut all the way down to seven. Dean Sullivan and Joey Lister. Dean lost the first 110.94. Dean won the second 128.107. And Dean lost the third to Joey Lister 114.108. So Joey's up one coming in. And two halfway through the match. Kendall Prince for Cancer again starts tomorrow. Qualifying round. Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire to register. Kendall Prince number four, cancer.com. That's Kendall Prince number four, cancer.com. Enter as many times as you like. $80 entry fee. That money goes directly to the Bowlers Fund for the top five show on September 25th on Kendall Bowler Network. The imports of Bowler Romney. It's only 11 a.m. So this Tuesday, tomorrow, September 6th, 11 a.m. Thursday, September 8th, 11 a.m. And two shifts Saturday and Sunday. The 10th and 11th, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Candlefence number four, cancel.com. One of the bowlers of our name uh, registered then couldn't bowl after all, gave a $50 donation to the charity. So that $50 goes to the charity, which goes to family members suffering chemo radiation treatment. The prize money for the roll offs is for that only. The roll off entry fees go to the prize fund only. So Candlefence number four, cancel.com. And we're encouraging don optional donations to the lemon drop pool. Any four pin or six pin in your first shot, please donate one dollar or more if you'd like to Candlefins number four cancer.com. A fun way and a great way to help support a great cause, which has helped dozens of families already. We'll only get bigger and bigger down the road. So lane reset, Corey. Seen a lot of great bowling today. Uh, we nothing nothing short of uh, what was expected with these bowlers up there. Four pros. Um, I'm excited to see what the fourth string brings and see if we can get a couple nail biters going on here. Right after this match, at 1 o'clock, a separate broadcast. 1 o'clock, J.J. Terigny versus Dominic Palladino. Craig Powers versus Sean Prendable right here at Lita Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire. A great place to bowl. Nick Leach goes right this time and gets five. They get six. One, seven, eight, nine. Solve in the pocket. Another split. What else is new? Four, seven, and a ten. On the spare, 60 through 6. Nick spare 6, 87 through 6. 4 to 5. Just off the head pin by a speck. He's up to 1 and a 7. Sullivan. Oh, what a try! Almost had it. So accurate, Corey. Leach a 9. 96 through 7. Sullivan, 10, 70 through 7, even up here in the string. Gonna need a lot more, though. These four balls all in the same division, a really tough division. They get each other 
alternating schedules the first three weeks and the last three weeks. It's going to be a fun season, Corey. Yeah, these divisions are stacked, that's for sure. There's not a not a bad matchup between any of them. Leach gets two to go. I've got a tough lead, the seven, the nine, and the ten. I'm almost wishing you wanted to have those you wanted to have those stay up instead of fall down to help the shot. Dean, tough lead, the one, two, seven, nine, and ten. This would be something. Get a good match with uh, Logan Gingrass too last week. Those were some very, very tough pins we ran into. Logan was throwing a good ball, one strike between us in the ball five games. Both balls open. Leach gets an eight. 104 through eight here in the fourth. Team matches with an eight, 78 through eight. So it's probably going to get another mark to have a chance to win the string. He's already down 4-2. Nick is down 4-2 to, down four to two in that season. Nick won the first string over Matt Susie, 113.93, lost the second, 182.109. As he gets eight, has the six and nine. Matt won the third, 118.105. Sullivan drills down eight, has the five and seven, a couple of pieces of wood. Matt, a dominating th third string, 137.105. Both matches close in the total. Leach for a spare, yes! One foot. 14 of all through nine. Solomon is fair. 88 of all through nine. Both on spare pills. Pin hit. Look at this. You gotta be kidding me. How can you see this leave, Corey? Refill. Sullivan. Eight. Nine. Almost a strike. Nick's at 117 through nine. Dean's at 97 through nine. Clean shot of a 10 pin. Leach. Another tough lead. Five, nine, seven, ten. Sullivan gets it for a spare. He's got two in a row to wrap up the string. 107 of all the 10. No, oh, nice out for Nick. Nine. Strong string. 126. His best string so far. 560. I'm sorry, 463. 463 through four. Scores of 113, 109, 105, 126. Sullivan, tip it again. Strike! To finish the string. What a finish. 117. Wow. 94, 128, 108, 117. The veteran delivering big down the stretch. Two spares and a strike. Another thrilling match, Corey. Matt Susi. Yeah, there's been some outstanding bowling today, and I'm, uh, I'm excited to see the finish we have here in front of us. We're waiting for the uh, lane to reset in lane 33. Again, just a reminder for folks who want to watch a, a Class B matchup, good for them. J.J. Trigny, Dominic Palladino, Craig Powers, Sean Prendable. A separate broadcast, 1 p.m. today on Atlanta Candlepin Singles to our Facebook page. Doubles match. First about 18 this month for me, Corey. That's all. Start with the uh, Flynn Olsen match. Last weekend. List of a strike gets it to go. After 44, 54 plus two through six. Second strike of the match. Oh, what a try for Susie. Not quite. What a ride. He had a 57 half. This year, 10, 67 through 6, down 20 in the string. He's up one in the match. What a battle, back and forth, both matches. 
week one of the ACST 18 week season. It's been a great one. Matt, two full check mark plus the four seven. Lister got it to go in the head pin. Triangle, good wood to help. Four seven eight. Working on a strike on lane 33. Tight match. Susie, use the wood, good try. He's at the three and the six. Lister for a spare on strike. Yes! Got the wood to go on the edge. 64 through six, 74 and a ball through seven. Susie a nine. 76 through 7. Down 20 in the string, up 1 in the match. Need a double strike to win. He's going to need a miracle to win the string. I, is Nick 117? I have 126. Is he 117? I have at 126 in school, but it, okay, they, they fixed it up there now. It, it, it scrolls as it goes. Okay, all right. So it's 126, that's what we had here. Is that official? Joey, four in the spare that time, 78 through seven. Susie, no, good try. Lister leaves up the one and the nine. Winding down here on the fourth string, one more to go after this. Susie, 10, 86 through 8, Lister matches, 88 through 8. Joey's up 10 on Dean Sullivan right now. He's up 11 in the match, but he's up against a spare, spare strike. Man needs 40 to tie 41 to win the strike. As the post. Lister, another half was about the eighth time, I believe, today, Corey. I lost track. Susie, good try, almost. Lister, good bid there also. Both pins wobble, but they won't fall down like a weevil. Susie, 10. 96 through 90 is a triple just to tie. Otherwise, it would be 4-4 four, in four the points. With Nick Leach, Lister another 10. 98 through 9. He needs 19 to tie, 20 to win. Otherwise, Dean Sullivan, Joey Lister, would be 4-4. Four, four. Nick Leach has won officially the fourth string. Lister needs some help. He has the Seven left side, six ten the right. Good piece of wood though. It's the left, Corey. How are you playing this shot? It's a tough leave no matter what. You gotta go as far right as possible without dropping it in the gutter. That's what you gotta do. Loose is open. Lister. Oh, what a try. And Dean Sullivan makes it four to four on the points. That was a perfect, perfect oh, shot. Perfect bit at it. Just didn't want to go. Susie, another ten. 106 string. Lister at 10. 108 string. So Dean Sullivan takes it 117 to 108. He wins it by 9. nine. Dean leads by 8 in the match with one string to go. And Matt Susie lost by 20 to Nick Leach. The lead is 1. Is that what you have, Corey? 1. One pin lead for Nick Leach, one string to go. From Leader Lanes in Nash, New Hampshire, the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, season kickoff, week one of 18. Paul Grant, Corey Lisi, with you live. Corey Lisi, the co-host of Candlepin Corner with George Britton. And it's been a thrilling match here. Yeah, I actually have Matt Susie up by one. 454 for Susie, 453 for Nick. And Dean Sullivan, 447, Joey Lister, 439. So it's gonna be an interesting final match. All right, fifth string underway, final string. First of two matches today. Again, J.J. Tarigny, Dominic Melodino, Craig Powers, Sean Prendable, one o'clock right here 
at Lee Lanes on Facebook on ACST. Dean Sullivan. Head 10. Another Dean Sullivan split. You've got to be kidding me. The 3 6 to the right, the 4 to the left. Leach. Nice ball. 8 9. Clean shot at the 4 pin. 68 to 72 percent success rate for four bowlers that would. Stats provided by Kenneth and Bowling Network. Sullivan. Almost. For a spare. Got it. 10 of the ball to start. He's done one in the match coming into the fifth. Dean and nine. Dean is up by eight on Joey Lister. They, all the bowlers are, have four points each, four to four. Four critical points for total. If they tie the total, there's no roll off unless it's the playoffs. They'll split the four points. It's been a seesaw battle all day long. Powerhouse division. Dean gets five. Nick Leach working a spare in lane 33 here in Nashua. Only four. 14 after one. Down one coming in. Won the first by 20. Dean has the one, the four, and the nine. Leach, one, seven, I'm sorry, one, six, and ten. One, six, and ten left up. Sullivan. Object pin again, only one. 17 after two here in the fifth, final string. Uh, Leach cleans up for a 10. Went for the, a lot of times you go for the short two, he went for all three. Got greedy and it paid off. 24 through two. These are the visiting bowlers, not head to head. Nick Leach versus Matt Susie. Dean Sullivan versus Joey Lister. Dean missed that pin that time. Ugly lead, the 1, 7, 9, and 10. Leach almost a strike. He's up the seven pin. What a try. 453 for Nick Leach, right? And we have coming in. Leach gets a spare. Oh, is that in the gutter? I missed that. I missed that. Nine. I was looking at my notes here. I got a nine. 33 through three. There's a follow. They're going to got a I got a ball. Nine. Nine, 26 through three. Eight. Spread eagle. Two, four, seven left. Three, six, ten on the right. Leach, head pin. Goal post, getting ready for some football. 7 10 lead. Sullivan, only got one. Tough half so far. Leach. Oh, he got it to go. Nice shot. Spare in the fourth. 43 in a ball. Dean, nice shot there for an eight. Just 34 through four. I want to get a mark here. None of these bullets for an easy out. No, all four of them can just pop off at any second and go on a run. Dean, brilliant Friday at Riverwalk in the money match with Mark Ritchie. 25 consecutive head pin hits, second, third, and fourth string, 28 of 30, 42 of 50. Amazing bowling and a losing effort. Nick, seven and a spare, 50 through four. That's the three, six, and a seven. Sullivan missed it. Leach, trying to kick it over, missed the object pin. That's the three to the right, the seven to the left. Big out, tough three, ouch. 37 half. Not happy. Leach and eight, 58 half. 
Each team has won two strings. Each team has lost two strings. Two points for this string, one for a tie, four for total. A tie will split the points. Great match here at Lita Lanes, National New Hampshire. 36 lane facility, plus the uh, Lita Lighthouse, right? Matt Susi up one in the match against Nick Leach. Up against a 58 half from Nick. Joey is down eight and starts off with a strike in the fifth. Third strike of the match. Susie. Two, four, and a ten. Not going to be easy. Nice effort. Oh, right behind the ten. What a try. Outstanding effort by Matt Seuss, the defending ACST pro champion. Nine to start the fifth. Final string of the match. Another match at one o'clock today. Again, J.J. Terigny, Dominic Palladino, Craig Powell, Sean Prentable. 1 p.m. Class B Division season kickoff on ACST Facebook. Blister crosses over. The three wants to go into the five, but it holds up with a good piece of wood in between. It's working on a strike on lane 34. Down eight coming in. He's up against a 37 half. Parallel pins plus the nine from that Susie. Nick had a 58 half, so that needs 57 to tie the match. Blister for spare. Yes. Spare and strike to start the fifth. 20 through one, 30 in the ball through two. Susie has the one in the eight. So Dean's going to need a big second half. Susie, eight, 17 through two. Down seven in the string, down six in the match here in the fifth. Needs 40 in the next three to tie the match. Joey on the spare after a strike for another one. Strike, strike, spare, strike. Wow. 40 through two, 50 plus two through three. Outstanding. Susie in the pocket for a strike. It's nine. Susie. On it. Spare in the third. 27 the ball through three. He's up against two spares, though. And this half from Nick Leach. Lister on a strike for double. Nine on the first. On fire here in the fifth. Susie right in the pocket. Nine. 36 through three, great bowling here by these two bowlers. Up three in the string right now, up two in the match. Lister for another one, got it! 60 through three, 70 a ball through four, incredible! Susie for another one, oh! Tough break. Susie, 10. 46 through four. He's down four in the string. Up, he's down three in the match. Lister on fire. Five that time. 75 through four. Unbelievable start. He's won a five string, a 10 string, and a 20 string. Susie for a strike. He gets it. 56 half plus two. He's down one in the match, but coming back on a strike against Nick Leach. What a match. Lister for a spare, almost. A strike, spare, strike, spare. Now he's open for the first time. And going for a 10 for the perfect string here halfway through and gets an eight. But an 83 half. He's down eight coming in. He's 83 to 37. Five more boxes to go here from Nashua, Lita Lanes, the Atlantic Kennelford Singles Tour, week one kickoff 
Paul Grant, Corey Lee, with you live. What a half by Joey Listman, Corey. That was exactly what we were talking about. All these bowlers can pop off in any minute, and Joey just did it. Takes a 38 pin lead in the match, all of a sudden. Close up by Joey. Oh, yeah. All these balls can leech as the fourth discount to five and ten. He's up one in the match right now, halfway through. Sullivan for a big second half. Gets a break as the ten pin. Wood gets out of the way. Clean shot of that seven at ten pin. Needs to convert. Down thirty-eight. Was that eight? Up eight coming in. Leach for a spare. Got it. What a battle between him and Matt Susie. 68 in the ball through six. Sullivan missed it. Ten. 47 through six. They split the first two strings. Dean Sullivan and Joey List, but Joey in the driver's seat here with an 83 half. Leach on the nose. 6 10 on the right, 7 on the left. On the bonus. 75 through 6. Sullivan ahead pin. Great chance here at the wood in front of the 6 and 10. You probably need to mark out to have a chance. Six points on the line. Two for the swing, four for total. Week one. Last day matchup. ACST for Nashua. Leach trying to kick it over. Good try. Nothing doing. And Dean, uncharacteristic miss with that shot. Two missed opportunities. He's in double strike territory now. Nick a seven. 82 through seven. Dean a 10. 57 through seven. Right in the pocket. Tough split, 6 9 to 7. Sullivan, right in the pocket. Another split. Not anymore. Another one goes. That's the fourth pin. Surrounded by two pieces of wood. Let's go right at that pin. Leach, only one. That's the 6 and 7. Sullivan, spare. 67 of the ball through 8. Nick Leach, 9, 91 through 8. They're probably going to need in the mark against Matt Susi. The match on a strike coming up. Nick was up one halfway through, but Matt on a strike up next. Each ball has split their first four strings. Leach, pocket, nice ball, 8 as the 2 and the 4. on the spare. Use a strike or a double at seven. Another tough lead. Five, six, and ten. Can't believe it. 74 through eight. Leach missed it. Any good try. In danger of losing ten points. Nick Leach a nine. One hundred through nine of party to mark. Dean at 10, 84 through 9. Joey's already at 83 half. You, you got to feel for, for Dean Sullivan, Corey. Yeah, the breaks he's gotten have not been in his favor all day. And then when you're up against that 83 half from Joey, it just it feels like a mountain. Nick 7. He cross over a strike. Look, oh. Not quite. Can't believe it. That summarized Dean's day in one ball right there. Leach, no. Matt's got a chance to take 10 points. Sullivan a spare. 94 and a ball in the 10. Leach a 9, 109, fifth string. I have been at 562.
13 on the bonus, eight, maybe nine, eight it is. Disappointing, 102 fifth string. Ends up with just a 549. And Joey Lister is gonna take 10 points off Dean Sullivan. He just needs down eight coming in. So he needs a 111, so he needs 29 pins and five boxes. So he's gonna take 10 of 14. Matt Susi working a strike on lane 34. Five. Half was, I mean, a spread eagle by the Joy Lister, 247, 3610. Spread eagle. One percent chance to convert for Pro Bowl is the wood. Stats provided by Caleb from Bowling Network. So you see, seven in the strike. 63 half. He's up five in the string, he's up four in the match. Lister's open. Susie so an eight, 71 through six. Right now he's down. Four in the string, down three in the match. Joey Lister is seven, 90 through six. Four boxes to go. First of two matches today. Another one at one o'clock. Kendall Prince for Cancer qualifying round starts tomorrow. Then Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. 11 a.m. shift tomorrow, September 6th. Thursday, September 8th, 11 a.m. And this weekend, September 10th, Saturday, 11 and 2. And Sunday, September 11th, 11 and 2. $80 entry fee. Please register at Candlepins number 4 cancercom That's Candlepins number 4 cancercom If you can't donate, please donate to a charity. Candlepins number 4 cancercom Top 5 go to Portsmouth Willamette, September 25th, 11 a.m. on Sunday. Susie has the 7 8 split. Joey the 3, 6 10, and the 7. Matt needs a 108 to tie a 109 to take 10 pins, 10 points. If I kick it over, good try. Lister missed it. Matt and eight, 79 through seven. I need a mark now to win the match. To win the string anyway, for the match. Lister and nine, 99 through seven. What's the update, Joey, uh, for the troubles here? What's Matt need a magic number? Matt needs 29 pins to take to tie the match, 30 to win it. With the three and the ten, he's the three moves over to the right. The game, he needs 30 to tie, 31 to win the game, 29 and 30 to win the match. For a spare, got it. 89 out of all through eight. Lister, good try, almost. Lister 9, 108 through 8. He's three pins and two boxes to win the match and take 10 of 14 on Dean Sullivan. Again, Dean Sullivan bowling well enough to win the way he's throwing the ball, but he didn't get the scores he needed. Tough division. Susie on the spares, 9. He's in great shape to take 10 of 14 off Nick Leach, and look at this leave. You gotta be kidding me. Look at this one. The picket fence plus. Susie Spare. He's gonna take 10 of 14. One away to ball in the ninth. He's one pin to win the match. That's their nice out. For a nine. 117. So he's one ten of fourteen on Dean Sullivan officially. Matt Susi with one pin to go. We'll take ten of fourteen. And after this we're gonna sign off and get ready for our next match at one o'clock. 
JJ Terigny, Dominic Palladino, Craig Powers, Sean Friendable. 1 p.m. separate broadcast, Class B, Week 1 kickoff on ACST Facebook page. It's great to cover the it's great to cover the B and the C division too, Corey. Six, 115 through 90, 110 and 14. Yeah, the C, the B division bowlers definitely need to be covered because that's the guys that keep everything, keep everything moving, keep, keep bringing in the next crop of talent, guys that find it, guys that keep these houses rolling. So the B and C division are of the utmost importance with all these, all these leagues. That you need the next core to come through. Absolutely. Susie's open. He's won the string. He's won the match. will give us the final scores in just a moment and recap the match before we sign off. Both nine, both high five each other, the home bowlers. Matt, Joey uh, Listo, the 126 fifth string. And then was the 565. And Matt Susie at 124, the defending champ, looking for defender's title, starts out the season, taking 10 of 14 off Nick Leach. That's to be down 20 in the first string. And unofficially, I have met. I have at 578. I'm not sure what you have there. 578. So, Corey, the rate recap on the uh, match. Final scores. Quick recap Matt Susie over Nick Leach, 578 to 562. And Joey Lister over Dean Sullivan, 565 to 549. Some great bowling all around for all of these guys. Remind about Candlepin Corner before you sign up. Twitch.tv slash Candlepin Corner. Go on, try and use your Amazon Prime sub. Uh, we're live just chatting every Sunday night, typically a little low right now. I'm away next weekend to see if Jordan can, can rally up and get on get on there for a little chat cast because we took Labor Day weekend off. But check us out. We have uh, try to keep everything updated with the pro leagues and every other league that's going on, ACST, all that. So check us out, twitch.tv slash Candlepin Corner. All right, the first of two matches under, under the, in the books now from National Hampshire, Lita Lanes. A great match, Corey. Thanks for teaming up with me. Paul Grant saying so long for now. We'll see you at 1 o'clock today for our B Division matchup, season, season uh, week one matchup here in the ACST from Nashua. Thank you for watching this great game of Candle for Bowling.